Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought that we would do a little get ready with me. I know I don't do those very often because I don't wear makeup very often, but I'd like to do a little eyeshadow look with you guys using two palettes that I have. This is not an eyeshadow palette. So I'm using blush too. But the makeup palette I want to use is from Revolution Beauty. And it looks like that. It's an all matte eyeshadow palette, which I have been searching for. So there it is in all of its matte gloriness. So we're going to create a fall inspired look using this palette. I've already moisturized my face earlier using the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. And I'm, I'm going to go in with my Clarins Instant Smooth Primer. So I have this little scoopy doopy thing and I'm just going to take out just a little bit. I don't need a lot. Maybe a little bit more. So how is everybody's night tonight? I hope that everybody is having a good night. Just going to work that into my skin. I don't use foundation or anything like that. I like my skin to be all natural. The more I put on my face, the more I have to worry about breakouts and whatever else comes along with using a shit ton of product on your face. So I just like keeping it natural and enhancing whatever I have without masking it a whole bunch. So I think I've got that pretty much worked in. Everybody always fast forwards that because they don't like the <laughs> facial movements that they have to make, but hey man, that's life. And I don't know how to edit, so you're just stuck with what you see is what you get kind of on this channel. I know some people don't like that, but what can you do when you don't know how to edit? Did you ever hear that saying, there was an old lady that lived in a shoe? Is that you? N no, it's me. I am that old lady that lived in a shoe. And a lot of people don't even really know what that means. And it's about a witch. Apparently, if you put a shoe in your chimney, the witches couldn't come down. They would be forced to live in your shoe and not be able to enter your house. So... Those of you who didn't know that story, that's what that means. Uh, I think that's all dried on my face now. So what are we going to start with? Should we start with some blush? Oh yeah, I'm going to use my Avon primer for, to prime my eyes because it's the best primer that I know about. And I want to give this palette the best I can give it. So I'm gonna put on that and put on that eye. And 
and I have to go get my little handheld mirror because I want to be able to talk to you guys and do my makeup at the same time. So I have collected some things that I'm going to use. I have my still spa essentials eyeshadow brushes and my most favorite brushes ever which are these crown brushes that never have done me wrong so we're gonna work get to work B B Brittany get to work Brittany I love being in a good mood pretty Vulgar. We're going to try and start out with Son of a Bee. We're just going to give ourselves a little bit of color here on the cheeky cheekbones. There is quite a bunch, quite a bunch of pickup. I'll show you after I get the cat hair off. I know if I used foundation and concealer and all that stuff, I could blend out all the imperfections in my face, but why? This is my face. It's taken me, this is gonna be 43 years of getting used to this face and learning how not to hate this face. So I just want to enhance what I've got rather than hide it. Because it's not an ugly face, so tell yourself that, tell yourself out loud that you're not ugly, that you are enough. That you're worth it. And if you say to yourself enough, your brain will eventually start to believe what you're saying and finding peace in there won't be as hard. Let's put a glimmer of BS right down there. See how it catches the light. Because how you apply your makeup on screen in a video is definitely not what your makeup is going to look like outside in real life. And I'm not going to tell all you guys that this is the kind of makeup that I wear all day every day unless it is actually how you're going to see me outside other than looking like a bag of dicks because... You know, sometimes when I go outside, I don't look my best. But who does, really? Like, if you're just running to the store next door, are you going to put a whole beat on? Because I know I'm not. Just saying. I'm keeping it real. I'm not lying to you guys. I want to be 100% real, not fake. So that's the dish. The Trish dish. So that's the cheekbones. Good to go. Pretty city. Now, what color are we going to try? Okay, we're going to have to lay something down first as a base. And I'm going to go in with this color right here as a base. Now, you got to go... The other one, I know I had to go down. I had to get under this, under the pressed stuff to actually get to the color, but this one isn't bad. I just want something to go down to cover up the Avon. There's no shade names. The palette is called, I'll check in just a second. This is just like a, 
like a soft peachy. The, it's called Matte Reloaded. And that color is just like a peachy color. I'm going to go for something for the fall. I know so many people that just, they put their makeup on and then they take their makeup off, put their pajamas on and lay on the TV. Lay on the TV. <laughs> no, they lay on the couch and just watch TV. So, I'm not saying that a lot of people are fake. But the persona that they portray themselves to be is a character most times. And I don't like to play with makeup unless I'm in a, in a mood to play with makeup. I'm sick and if I, if I don't have the energy to put shit on my face, then I'm not going to come on here and be like, oh, I, I feel really great today. This is my makeup. I just want to be 100% real with my people. Like, we've been fed so much shit these days that, I, I don't know, I think that realness is a superpower. I really do. You don't, you don't come across too many people that will tell you the way it is these days. So, there's not a lot of people with the last name of Brash. My kids aren't even brash. And I, when I was growing up too, my, my family, especially my cousin Jamie, he's passed now. He passed in 2017 from a brain aneurysm. And he made me live up to my name. Like he would make me be brash. He would be like, this is a privilege to have this name. And like... So it was kind of something that I was forced to be a person and I like I wasn't that person. It took me a long time, like I said, to learn to be the person I am. So a lot of people don't appreciate realness. But I don't want to be anything but real. I'm going to put a little bit of green NYX liner underneath just to, just because. I find it brings out my eyes. I have a blue one of these too. I have a blue one of these too, these NYX. They are gel liner. Freaking cat hair. You almost have to be ambidextrous to hold a mirror and put your makeup on with the wrong hand. I'm just going to give it a little tip. There, that way my eyeliner my eyeshadow won't go past my eyeliner in case my hand gets this a slobe.
I think I created some drama with, uh, like I always do. Because I call things out on their, on their ship and a lot of people don't like that. When you do that, you know, people don't like when you call them out on their shit. I've gotten in so much trouble for calling people out on their shit before, like if you say you're on the keto diet, but then you go and get liposuction, yeah, sorry, honey, but keto is probably not working for you as you are lying about. And I've called somebody out on that before. And I got blocked. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do do stuff like that. What color next, Katherine? I want to try this yellow. I want to try these two yellows, but I don't know how they're going to turn out. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay. It's when you're working with a color like yellow, Oh, I dug into it. I don't know if you can see that because my, can you, can you see there how I dug into that with my brush? And there's a hair right there. Get out and walk. Okay. Where are we going to put this yellow, Catherine? Here? What are we going to do with it? Uh, are you going to show up? Or are you just going to be a little lame story on there? Hello, yellow story. Poke, poke. I so badly want this to be an awesome, colorful moment. Okay, I'm gonna go get the setting spray and see if that's any crap in a basket, this better work. It's it showing up, but I want it to be like, I want it to have a moment. My eyes are literally like two different eyes, so they are kind of hard to get the same. This one has a cut. This one is aging, so it falls differently. But we're getting there. That's how it looks at the moment. I have to, yeah, see when I go like this, it's totally different eyes. Oh well, I'm not perfect. I was really hoping to give this a moment and it looks like my clock is running short. It's always something. Blend this all together. Don't be hating because I told you I'm not a makeup artist. So let me clean it up. All the other kids with the pumped up kids better run, better run, faster than my bullet. It's almost the same up there. 
until I put my eyebrows down on this side literally gets hidden because I have a stupid eye on this side. Ah. Okay, guys, I think I was able to save the look. I think it turned out not too bad. Matches my shirt for the day, for the night, for whatever. It matches. I ain't done yet, so just hold on. I thought it was going to be a makeup failure, but I don't know. I think it turned out not too bad. It turned out not too bad. Okay, guys, this is my finished look. I have e.l.f. lipstick on in the shade. Cider. There it is. Leave me a like if you liked this. Leave me a like if you didn't. I have to go because I'm going to lose it. Love you guys. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in my next video.